There is continuing outrage tonight over news that hazardous waste from the train derailment in East Palestine is now being stored at a facility in the community of Rochdale, about an hour south of Lafayette. We have team coverage from a very emotional town hall meeting last night, starting with our Marguerite and Cardoni. Citizens of Rochdale, Russellville, and surrounding communities are outraged and concerned with the decision to bring hazardous materials from East Palestine to their backyard. You don't care about it. All this emotion is because of the news that hazardous waste from the recent East Palestine, Ohio train wreck has ended up in a landfill in Indiana. Representatives from landfill owner Heritage Environmental attempted to answer questions from the PAC gymnasium at last night's town hall in Russellville. Rudy Guerrero of Rochdale felt that they did a poor job of answering the questions. No, um, the, the only little questions they're answering are minute irrelevant questions about which uh, angle do we move the chair on the Titanic. It means nothing. The, on, the, the important and significant questions about the liner and about dioxin testing, he outright obfuscated lied and ignored. He did not answer those questions. Laura Scott of Putnam County was dissatisfied with how the questions were answered and overall with how the meeting went. I, I think they were overwhelmed. I would have been overwhelmed had I been in their chairs. Um, but I, I think that the acoustics in the room, the way that people uh, were yelling, Comments. I, I don't think that that was productive, and I was disappointed. I we're a better community. Neither of these citizens believes that the facility in Rochdale is the right place for the hazardous material. This is not the place to store it because it sits on a significant aquifer, an aquifer that supplies homes with water, industries, agriculture. And, and if that aquifer is contaminated, it will be a very different place here. And that's wrong. I don't trust the EPA, and we need separate third party entities doing testing, and this does not need to be in Indiana. It needs to be in an incinerator as close to East Palestine as possible because East Palestine needs to be. Um, it, it needs to be completely decommissioned. Those people need to be evacuated. There is no word if there are any more public meetings scheduled about the hazardous waste. Star City News will continue to follow this story as it develops. Marguerite Incardoni, Star City News, Russellville. We continue our team coverage now with Asher Bookspan. He has a look at how state representatives are reacting to the EPA's decision. State representatives from Rochdale, Russellville, and surrounding communities feel blindsided by the decision to bring hazardous materials from the East Palestine train wreck into their communities. Landfill owner Heritage Environmental held this town hall for the citizens of Russellville, Rochdale, and surrounding communities yesterday. State representatives Bo Bard and Becky Cash explained why they were shocked when they found out the news about the hazardous materials on Sunday. I quite frankly thought maybe I was the last person to know. I found, I found out from a third party uh, person that lives here in the community. Um, and I thought, surely everybody else knows. So we as state representatives found out about this the same way that everybody else did. Um, for the last 72 hours, I have been getting phone calls, messages, um, quite honestly yelled at by people going, why aren't you guys doing anything? Both representatives felt that the group from the landfill that took the hazardous waste should not have been the only ones answering the community's questions. I think that we have been failed by the EPA and our federal administration. I think they should have been here tonight. I think that they should be the ones providing these answers, not the company that's receiving the material. I definitely think that a representative from the EPA should be here, um, and I would like a spokesperson from the governor's office. I would like the governor to be here. State Representative Baird wants the process to stop until more questions are answered. I want to know exactly what's coming out of this, out of this uh, area. I want to know how it's being transported to this community. I want to know what's actually coming into our community. I want to see science. I want to see data. I want to see reports. I don't want to just be told. State Representative Cash feels that Governor Holcomb needs to take action immediately. I think the governor needs to make this stop right now um, for the people of 
of this community for the entire state. So if it's safe, then they need to answer those questions and they need to prove that it's safe. But the governor is the only person who can make this stop right now. State Representative Baird thought the federal government should step in and take accountability. I think it would have been great for Governor Holcomb to be here, but I don't think he can answer the questions that we need answered. We need the EPA and those that can answer specific questions here. And it's a travesty that they weren't here before this started. Governor Holcomb put out a statement saying he was also surprised by the news and is in opposition to the waste being brought in. Star City News reached out to the EPA and Heritage Environmental and have not received a response. Asher Booksman, Star City News, Russellville.